Greetings everyone and welcome back to a new video. It looks like they finally post the legendary ambassador page So let's go ahead and take a look at it trying something a little new here today I'm recording this on my phone and uh, if you guys don't mind this the sound and all that isn't too bad This might be a way for me to get some more videos out than I would ordinarily Let's go ahead and take a look here. You have to let me know in the comments Let's take a look at the ship here real quick and of course it does look like the Ambassador, which is a very nice looking ship. The Ambassador class served as one of Starfleet's longest, largest and most capable cruisers during a time prosperity for the Federation. This, is that, did I read that wrong? It might not be edited very well. Peace with the Klingons and seclusion from the Romulans meant that, yeah, yeah, it's the legendary Ambassador. So tier six, hull modifier 1.375, it's a support cruiser. For a standard cruiser, I might expect that to be a little higher for a legendary ship, but it's not terrible. Shield modifier 1.2 is a, a bit high, uh, so that's going to be plenty survivable. 4-4 weapon layout, which is expected for a standard cruiser. It has four device slots, bridge officer seating, commander engineering temporal uh, operatives, so it's a full temp ship. Lieutenant Commander Science, a Lieutenant Commander Command, a Lieutenant Tactical, and an Ensign Universal. Um, I suppose you could, you're pretty much going to need that Lieutenant Commander Universal for Tactical, but you could get uh, Recursive Shearing and Concentrate Firepower on here. So that might be a decent way to do some damage. Although, I, whatever you do with this ship is probably not going to be optimal. I mean, it is a standard cruiser, and those just aren't the best. There's no really other way to put it. Um, but it's, you know, the, the specialization, specialization seating is plenty capable. It only has three tactical, four engineering, and four science. Not every ship has to be about DPS, though, so you could go a little bit more survival. And frankly, these days, we have so many great universal consoles that having... A, you know, one or two fewer attack consoles. It's not great, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like the old days where you really had nothing else. We have so many other options now for you to put into those engineering and science slots, things that are almost as good as a locator or whatever. So it's really not that big of a deal. Turn rate 7.5. It's pretty low, but again, that's kind of expected for a cruiser. At least it's not six. Um, impulse modifier 0.15, inertia 45 weapons, Five shield, five ox. That's pretty awful, to be honest. Um, it has a console, the uh, temporal trajectory shifter. I have no idea what that does. Molecular reconstruction. I don't know if that's an old one. Uh, obviously, it's an old one. It's a legendary ship, but I don't know where it's from off the top of my head, and I don't know what it does, but I'm guessing it's not very good since I can't remember ever hearing about it, although maybe I'm wrong. Uh, it has the full suite of cruiser commands, so it does have a track fire if you wanted to use this for tanking. It'd probably be a pretty good tank ship. Um, you can use the command seating for... Um, uh, now I'm forgetting the name of the ability. <laughs> uh, uh, the rally point uh, marker one. Um, that It's good for survival. And then, you know, the temporal stuff, you know, you can help. Um, there's a couple of survival options in there as well. So this could make a decent tank, although I'm no expert on that. So maybe Counter Yolo is going to do a video on that. He likes to do the tank stuff, so maybe we'll... Uh, see what he has to say, or um, Timberwolf, you know, he does videos, uh, and they talk about tanking over there, so maybe he'll talk about that. But let's go ahead and look at the ability package, and for whatever reason, the text is here, but you can't really see it. I don't know if it's because it's my phone or my browser or what, but I'm going to have to drag this down here to be able to read it. I don't know if that's their mistake or if it's on my end. While this trait is slotted, it's called Lost in Time. It's the new trait. Uh, when your health drops below a certain health percentage, you uh, your ship becomes partially displaced with time and reverts to a state when its abilities were more readied and its defenses were in a better state. This can only occur once per three minutes. So the way I assume this is going to work is that it has an internal three-minute cooldown. If you get damaged a lot, you will have a your um, timers on your bridge officer abilities reset. So it will be an instant cooldown effect on your uh, abilities. And it will probably be like, I don't know, miraculous repairs. It will just you know give you a huge amount of uh, healing and maybe bonus hull and stuff like that. We don't have the numbers, so I don't know. But that's obviously what it is. You know, if you're tanking, 
um, that might not be that bad because sometimes you can set your ship up and especially on elite difficulty and stuff and you're doing fine and you're able to handle the sort of steady stream of damage that's coming in but then all of a sudden you just get walloped by some crazy ability you get sub nuked by uh, the Borg Queen or you get hit by one of those uh, Borg Pickle torpedoes or something like that and you just go from you know 90% to zero and just get destroyed by some massive crit or something so if it can protect against that if it's sort of like a get out of jail free once every three minutes you don't die when you would have died kind of an ability um, that's not too bad. We've seen ones like that before. The universe class has one like that, I think, but, um, it re requires you to be disabled for a short period of time where they usually have some kind of drawback to them. This one doesn't seem to, as far as I know, we don't, until we play with it, but, um, that might be okay. That might be a pretty good option. Or if you're just a casual player and you're tired of dying, you know, you're going to go do patrols or story missions or something where it's an enemy that you don't like. You, the Vaudoir, a lot of people struggle against the Vaudoir. You know, if you're not able to get away from their mines in time, this could save you and stuff like that. So I could see this being something that either tanks want to use or something that casual players want to use just to, to not die from random bullcrap all the time. Okay, I um, don't really care about the Admiralty stats. And there is a new visual variant, the Horatio, which is uh, looking pretty edgy. <laughs> the Hot Topic version here is all dark and everything. And then down here we have the other variants, the uh, Yamaguchi, the Horatio, the Standard, and the Naranda. And that's it. So thanks for watching. Take care, you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.